Hey there, how you doing? We are gonna finish up our look at the letter to the Colossians. So we're in Colossians chapter four today, and it's a great reminder. I love how the letter ends because it reminds us about prayer in particular. It says, starting verse like two, three, and four, it talks about devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful, and pray for us too, that God may open a door for our message. And he says, Paul says, pray that I make the most of every opportunity. You know, sometimes when I hear us as Christians say, oh, we believe in the power of prayer, um, it's almost as if we are elevating prayer. And I'm kind of like, one of those moments, uh, we're not elevating prayer. We're elevating faith in the communion with God, who is all powerful and all faithful and all loving. It's, it's a time that we can commune with our creator and our savior. So, so let's pray, it teaches us, to be watchful for people. Uh, looking to make the most of our opportunities and engaging them with the, the verbal message of Jesus Christ and also opportunities of ways to bless and be a blessing to other people. And so uh, those are just some of the ways that we can be prayerful throughout our day. Be, be prayerful throughout our day is in thankfulness to God um, that we have food, that we have shelter, that we have companionship, that we have work to do. Prayers, uh, oh, we should, excuse me, we should also be in prayer that, that God's message would get out, not just in our lives, but, but into the world, that it would continue to expand and grow and in the, in the influence of the gospel of Jesus Christ that brings salvation to the world, that people will know that and know God, that they may engage in the same communion of prayer. Um, we also, it goes on and towards the end of the chapter, it, it talks about Epaphras. Paul is saying, now Epaphras, the one who shared the good news of Jesus with you, he is wrestling in prayer for you that you may stand firm in the faith of God and be mature and fully assured in your faith. You know, so, so we also, uh, I pray for you, you pray for me, please, that Jesus, um, would be so real that, that we would stand firm in our conviction of our faith and that, um, that we would be rooted, as it says in chapter two, rooted and established in what we know to be true in following the Lord and, and being guided by his Holy Spirit. So let's pray for one another, church, and, and for those around us looking for these opportunities. God bless you guys. Have a great, great day.